Hi, I'm Carla Buderak and welcome to Behavior Communicates. Welcome to lesson two on teaching multisyllable decoding. And if you missed last week's video, I recommend you do a quick look back to catch up. Once again, I'm using the recipe for reading by Francis Bloom and Nina Traub as my resource. Today, I want to introduce the second and the third of the four syllable patterns and two more syllable types of the seven syllable types. You're not going to believe how easy this makes decoding for our kids. Okay, the next two syllable patterns are a vowel consonant, consonant vowel, and a vowel consonant vowel pattern. So here's an example of this pattern in the word cactus. You take cactus and you have a vowel consonant, consonant vowel, so the student knows right where to divide the two syllables. For the next syllable pattern, go ahead and teach your students that when they have a vowel consonant vowel pattern, to go ahead and try separating the syllables in the word with the vowel slash consonant vowel first. If it doesn't sound right, then they should try the vowel consonant slash vowel. So for instance, in timid, you can have them try the vowel consonant vowel separation, timid, doesn't sound right, so then they can go to the vowel consonant slash vowel, vowel consonant slash vowel for timid. So let's try comic. Same thing with comic. You have a vowel consonant vowel. You can have the students try to divide it there, and if it doesn't sound right, comic, you just have them do the vowel consonant slash vowel right there for comic. Now let's take a look at the next syllable type. It's called magic E. This is a, simply a vowel consonant and E. Some of you use the terminology A-E, O-E, I-E, etc. When your students learn this long vowel rule, it can be taught as a syllable type called magic E. When decoding, we use the designation ME to label the syllable type. So let's, just, let's go ahead and decode escape. So you have your uh, vowel consonant, consonant vowel, so we'll divide the word here, and you have your, look for your vowel here and your vowel here. Go ahead and draw your bridge, and now you have the E with a consonant after it, which makes it a closed syllable, and you have your AE here, that makes it a magic E, and it makes it a long vowel sound, so you have a short vowel sound, long vowel sound, and you pronounce this escape. So let's do infantile. You have your vowel consonant, consonant vowel, so we'll divide this here, and you have your vowel consonant, consonant vowel, and we'll divide it here. Let's look for our vowels. You have one here and one here. Draw the bridge, and you have one here, of course, and one here, so we'll draw this bridge. Now let's go back and look at this syllable. You have your vowel and your consonant, so that makes it a closed syllable and a short vowel sound. You have your vowel and your consonant, which makes it a closed syllable and a short vowel sound. And then you have your I consonant E, which makes it a magic E and a long vowel sound. So now we can decode this as infantile. Now for the fourth syllable type. It's the vowel teams, or VT. These are the double vowels that make the long vowel sounds like EA, EE, OA, OE, AI, AY, and then the UE and the EI for the more advanced students. So let's try leaflet and oatmeal. Here you have your vowel team, EA, and um, a single vowel here. So we're, gonna, we're going to divide the word, the vowel consonant, consonant vowel right here, Look for your vowel, that's a vowel team, and your other vowel, draw your bridge. And you have a vowel team here, so we're going to do VT for vowel team. And you have your vowel with a closed uh, consonant here, so that's a closed syllable. And you can pronounce this with long E and short E, leaflet. For oatmeal, you have your vowel consonant, consonant vowel, so you divide your word here. You have your vowel here and your vowel here. You draw your, your bridge. You have a vowel team here, which makes it a long vowel sound, and you have a vowel team here, which makes it a long vowel sound, so you have oatmeal. Now you have three of the four syllable patterns and four of the seven syllable types. Next week, I will conclude this multisyllable decoding series with the last syllable pattern and the last three syllable types. Thank you so much for joining me here at Behavior Communicates. Just remember, the more we know about how to help the child or the student we love, 
the better quality of life they will have. If you like this video and you want to be in the know, sign up for Behavior Communicates. You'll automatically get my weekly video and blog plus other resources that I only share with my subscribers. Please like this video and share it with all of your parents, teachers, friends, and your coworkers on Facebook, Twitter, and all your other social media. You take care and I'll see you next time.